and one. Two games down, one more to wrap up this triple header. Here in Milwaukee, it's Trilogy and the Ball Hogs on CBS Sports Network. It's big, no doubt for Trilogy in the standings because of what's happened this weekend. If they win. Spiral. Oh, you mentioned the Jet, Jason Terry, the captain of Trilogy, as we look at the rosters presented by State Farm. So only played two games. Ball Hogs. Will McDonald was the guy that got off to an extremely hot start. Uh, played in Japan last year. Silas steps out and drills the three. Number retired in San Antonio. Miracles happen, <laughs> my friend. If you say it like that. If, if it was the winter time, you'd just say a miracle on ice. That's right. It's game since last season. Yeah, this is a pure pride game, you know, this time of the season. Uh, not, not, you know, a playoff team, but the boss waits. Here's Silas, open three-pointer. Almost did a second from that spot. James White launches and hits. You know, Al, Al Thornton, we'll see if James Silas, if Silas can have an effect on his, his team the same way Xavier Silas. Poked away by Samuels, loose and put in by Trilogy. Still, and they've answered early 5-0 deficit with the last eight points. It's a tough game for the ball hogs, especially, you know, playing against a guy like James White. Stevenson, you know, not quite the same size. Um, you know, he probably can post up Stevenson a little bit. Not that he's going to back down. I love Deshaun. Hawkins drills his second three. He's been terrific in the big three. Last year at Tri-State, that was a big void for Dr. J's team and a welcomed addition for Trilogy. Silas Spinarama and gets the friendly bounce. Easy to try to key on a guy like Joe Johnson. You know where triplets want to want their offense, but now, you know, with a team like Trilogy, yes, you know, James White as a uh, basketball coach for his girls team, he works and mentors those kids and coaches those those girls with Samuels and McDonald. Hawkins from four-point range. Stevenson. No one to challenge. Yes, Deshaun Stevenson, two in a row for the corner. Missed two point shot, second chance, James White. Let's give the Ball Hogs credit. They've come out and they play with a lot of passion. The Ball Hogs have been Stevenson and McDonald. But Silas has given them a tremendous amount of uh, a lift offensively, and now he makes an on time, on target pass to Scalabrini. Scal! White and, and being able to give uh, McDonald and Stevenson a rest. Oof. That could, that could be a flagrant with the takedown. Wow. Yeah, that could be a flagrant. Dangerous against Silas. Initial indication looks like a double foul. Yeah, but that could be my scout. Sometimes you can overdo it as a guy handling the ball against a defender that you think you have an advantage on. When you make your move, whoa, Barricon. Yeah, Good job of taking the mid-range shot when he was there. Woods, ankle breaker, but he missed the shot. It's a 14-0 run for the Ball Hogs. Farrakhan had the step, jumps off his back foot, scoop shots good, halftime in Milwaukee. And there were many, five in all made by the Ball Hogs in that first half. Yep, and whenever you can make shot from the three-point line, it just gives you more options here, Silas. You know, Deshaun Stevenson, we know he can make a three, and then Scal got into the action. Scalabrini. Here are the numbers. A big boost from beyond the arc for the Ball Hawks. Adjustments. I watched him the entire halftime. He's not a happy man right now. He talked about their game plan coming in. I'm sure sparked uh, some more energy or more effective basketball. A Ball Hawks three to shoot. Blocked away in a foul on Hawkins. Tried to deny Xavier Silas, and they blow the whistle. Yeah. <laughs> Might make a dent in the award season. Samuel's calling for it. Hits it on the assist from David Hawkins. Now that, that is A stuff. That's as good as it gets. Pull up jumper, off glass, and good. Farrakhan. Giving some juice to the Ball Hawks coming off the bench. I'm not sure if Trilly Coach Kenyon Martin really talked a lot about these guys on their scouting report. You know, Silas and Farrakhan. G 
Jr. The six guys on the floor weren't with their teams before this weekend. McDonald rolls and scores. We talked about it, honestly, if it's three on three. You know, you get double team, then you're playing two against one. David Hawkins is trying to carry Trilogy back, and here they are. Um, you got to know when to box out and make contact, and when to release that contact, retrieve the air ball, and then go up and score. It's, it's a skill. To 15 years overseas. Hawkins short. You know what Will McDonald's hometown? Give it to New Orleans. That's right. <laughs> Just like the guy to my right. Yeah. Down in his career two years ago at Boston. It's like a moonlight gram of the NBA. Silas takes a hard spill and White cleans up the miss. Yeah, look at look at maintain their intensity. Great steal by Hawkins. Samuels fall away, got it. And just like that, Trilogy has seventh ball hawks turnover. Hawkins got a real cool calm call. McDonald fakes. Samuels drawn it loose. Right place, right time for Hawkins. And, and now Silas, you know, stamina and conditioning, can can he continue to have an impact on the game offensively since he hadn't played and he just was acquired, will be their finishing team. Saw the fat head, Scal is in. Ryan Scalabrini can't fight through the screen and Woods on a nice lead. White Mamba on the drive. Never hit the rim. Samuels and one, he's got a chance at three. I don't think he realized that if it doesn't hit the rim, you could go right back up. Big days, week seven of the big three. Yesterday in Chicago, here today in Milwaukee. Boy, and I know we talked about it earlier, but what a performance by Will Byron. Big win for Big Whack in the Windy City. Look out, Samuels down the lane. You could see it coming from a mile, and the foul is called. For our referee. Arroyo, pull up. Scalabrini, McDonald launches and hits a three. What a beautiful left-handed hook pass by Scalabrini. Ball Hawks, number 16-0 run to close the first half. They led by 12, but they're four of 16 from the floor since halftime. And Hawkins and Trilogy continue to knock. Gets Hawkins back in the game in white, and Hawkins was successful right off the bench. John Samuels, the rebound, fall away. Was that a pass? Was it a shot? I think that was a, a missed shot. That's a little better. And that's a main shot. <laughs> I don't think the big guy was trying to pass that ball. It just slipped out of his hand. And you're right, it's good to have Jenny with us this week. Yes. A Jenny Dell doubleheader, Chicago and Milwaukee as Silas hits it. Four points away. I am so impressed with Trilogy's focus in this second half. Oh, oh Samuels. Still life, Silas. Looks like Silas and Farrakhan Jr. They've run out of gas a little bit. They came out with a ton of energy. Just having and one triplets now, six and one. Ball hogs retain the ball after the made free throw. Silas, leader, off the mark. Kenyon Trilogy, chance to win it. Begging his team, no foul. Oh, Samuels denied by McDonald's. Not over yet. Stevenson drills the three, six point game. And this, Ed, we've been talking about this every week. You're never out of a game in the big three. Just ask Joe Johnson. Hawkins fakes, offloads for the win. Trilogy's got it. James White, goodbye Milwaukee. Trilogy, a winner over the Bohawks. We said Kenyon Martin was gonna put his, going to put his closers back in the game. Hawkins and White. Hawkins come off, comes off the bench, makes the three from the left corner, and now he feeds his teammate for a game winner uh, in the right corner. Two of the easiest threes in basketball. Just a massive second half. 38-18 for a Trilogy after the break, and this wins it. And it's all about reading defenses. Hawkins, what an unselfish play that I'm going to create a shot. I, two guys are converging on me on defense, and, and I'm going to make an on-time, on-target pass to my teammate. And then White waves bye-bye.
to the ball halls and to the fans here in Milwaukee.